Hello, and welcome back to The Sim. In this one, we're jumping in with Microsoft Flight Sim 2024 and the AnyBuilds A320. We're gonna go ahead and show you how to get your WinWing FCU and APHIS working inside of SPAD.next. Let's jump inside and get started. Obviously, what we wanna do is get that thing working with our physical thing. And by physical thing, we mean our completely dark FCU from WinWing. So the first thing we're gonna do is jump over into SPAD.net. So we do not have SimApp Pro running. You can't have SimApp Pro running and SPAD.next running at the same time if you want to control these devices. Now, if you wanna keep SimApp Pro running and not use SPAD.next, you don't do anything because by default, the devices are disabled. So what we're talking about is when you come to the panels page, you'll notice our FCU and APHIS are not listed. And that's because the first thing you have to do to get it configured is enable it. Head to settings, devices, and then you're gonna come down here to the WinWing devices. So SPAD.next knows that there are WinWing devices connected or has settings if they are connected. So the first thing we wanna do is enable WinWing support and it tells us these changes will become effective after restarting the application. So right away, we've got our MCDU enabled. So any of the CDUs and MCDUs and we have FCU support on, so that will be FCU and APHIS because they connect to the FCU. And if you have the PAP3, you can also connect those. And that supports either magnetic or non-magnetic versions. So once you've enabled everything, review these settings just so it saves you from having to restart again if you make changes. So here's the default power for when virtual power comes on and the default setting for when virtual power goes off. The backlighting, the displays, and the LEDs all have their own individual lighting controls and it's zero to 255. We put it somewhere in the middle and we'll also be able to bind it to encoders. One of the things I like to do is set up a button on my FCU that I hold down and then I use three different encoders to control the displays, the backlighting, and the LEDs. They do allow you to replace the trailing zeros with the little zeros, which is kind of what is normal in the VS display for an Airbus. But whether it's Airbus or it's Boeing, you can actually turn those on and off. And then finally, show plus when VS rate is positive. Depending on the simulator, you can pick whether you wanna see the plus when it's a positive, otherwise it doesn't show it. It's a neat little setting. We got that all set up. We're gonna go ahead, close pad.next and then relaunch it. So that's pad.next is launched again. We're gonna go over to our panels section and you can see that our FCU is now visible. It comes up and of course it is blank. Looking at the unit, you'll notice there are tabs. You'll also show under panels where you can also switch to those individual tabs. So the main FCU, if there is a captain APHIS connected, it will show the captain side. And if a first officer APHIS is visible, it will show the first officer side as well. So at any time you can click on any button or display or LED, you name it. And when you come over here, we're gonna click on online snippets. Now by default, it's going to look for the device that was selected. So what you wanna first do is here on the left, you'll see FCUs, whether it's Win Wing, Mini Cockpit, you name the brand, anything that SPAD.next supports, they're all gonna show up under here. They're all compatible. They have the same looking UI and that way you are able to get either of these products and they can be shared amongst everyone. So it doesn't really matter who the brand is. FCU, complete device, and you'll see there are over 73 independently published items by many users. And if I just type in any to sort on it, you'll see that a bunch will show up. Now I've already published one for the 320 and the 321, uh, but so have others. You can find any builds 340. Already somebody has published for the 340. There's the 330, 300. Uh, as you can see, there are a bunch. So we're gonna go ahead and we're going to grab this 
When it prompts us, it's going to ask us, do you want to replace all events? In this case, of course, we're going to say yes. It's blank. There's nothing on it. However, if you had some stuff programmed and you weren't sure, you can click no, which will merge them. It'll keep your settings you already had and add to it with these. Finally, you can cancel and have nothing happen. So we're going to click yes. So we hear the beep. We can see red. I can hit save. It has saved it. And now when we come through, we're going to see that all of these items are assigned. Uh, so now when we look in the display, we can see what it is doing. Uh, and if we go ahead and look at our unit, so as you can tell, I do not have uh, enough width on this camera view to show you the right side as well. Uh, but hopefully this will let us at least get the idea that every single thing that we put in there uh, is actually fully programmed, which is great. So now we can see the display inside of the sim as we increase that altitude. The altitude is changing in both. Obviously, uh, we can adjust our FPA and of course the values are also showing up inside of the sim. So that's really good. All of the LEDs, waypoint, you've got all of your range and all the knobs are going to follow as well. Everything is super easy to get started with a bunch of planes. All you have to do, start your own profile. So when we look at spad.next, Right, what we're talking about here is under profiles. So what I always do is I make a profile and by putting some name with a forward slash in the name of it, you can create folders. Uh, but I create a separate profile, even though the 320 and the 321 are going to use basically the same FCU, I like to have a separate one for each plane, just in case there are differences that I'm going to need to tweak after the fact. You're gonna see that under the APHIS, you have all of the information programmed, you have your switches, the modes, we've got the LEDs, everything is up and running. And if you're in 2020, absolutely, there are a bunch of fly-by-wire. And of course, if you drag fly-by-wire into 2024, uh, it's not fully supported by fly-by-wire, but obviously it is mostly working inside of 2024 and you can use those snippets that people published for 2020 as well. So there you go, that was a quickie on how to get started with the FCU and the AFISs. Get them going, download a snippet. If you made it this far, please go ahead, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and come along with us on the next one. We're about to get out of here in this downpour of weather and horrible night. As always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.